Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car building tuning episodes. This is where I tune with my wheels, so if you're on controller, this might not actually work for you, but yeah, we can always try. Uh, did not mean to <laughs> did not mean to press that, but I made this 350Z last episode, so if you want to check that out, I recommend you do. It's been winning me lobbies with the wheel, and I don't win lobbies with the wheel, so yeah. Why am I doing this? Alright, let's buy a car. Uh, I was thinking of what car to buy. Um, I need your guys' help. Uh, next episode... I want to know what car you want to see me tune. Uh, I want a pretty, pretty easy car to control. Obviously, this episode, I'm going to go for the BMW E36. Very known drift car. Lots of control. You can slam it into corners, it will hold. But next episode, I need to know what car you want to see. Um, probably in the most commented or most thumbs up. Um, the fuck? Uh, most thumbs up comment um i will make so yeah if i see like five comments saying the same car i'll probably do that car but if i see one comment with like let's say five likes on it um i'll probably choose that one uh, but yeah bmw e36 upgrade with the e36 i always seem to v8 it and i just can't get away from that the v8 very nice for drifting i'm not gonna lie i really like drifting in the v8 so I'm going to go with the V8. I said V8 like 8 times then. And I just said it again. Shit. Alright, single turbo as well. Okay. No body kit. Tyres and rims. What the hell suits a BMW E36? But yeah, sport tyre compound. Uh, let's go full width on the front. And then full width on the rear. Hopefully it's 275s. Please. Yes. Alright, two seven fives on the rear. Tire tires? Rims. Alright. What will suit this car? Maybe maybe a um, multi piece rims. Is there like a kind of Let's go with those. Never use those before. Racing Dynamics, does that say? I can't see from here. RS2 Modulars. Never used them before. Don't know what the hell they look like, but... Fair enough. Whoa, look how chav that is. Wow. Okay, let's go 18s on the front. And then put 18s on the rear as well. Okay, there we go. So that is tyres done. Drivetrain, everything in here is going to be race. Shit, I just skipped something. The transmission, you don't want to skip the transmission. Fuck that. Bun that. Oh, bun. Ooh, bun him. Alright, differential, race differential. Okay. Brakes and handling. Obviously, we want race brakes. We want to stop the car. Did I buy that? I don't know. Uh, suspension. Damn, son. That actually pulls off those wheels. Very nice. Shit. When I chose those wheels, I was thinking in the back of my mind, why did I choose those? But now that it's lowered, it's just like a jizz. Just like. <laughs> okay, race anti roll bars, you're on that. Race anti roll bars, you're on that again. What does a roll cage look like? Yep. When the roll cage is on full display, I'll buy it. Okay, race weight reduction. We want that. Okay, so what power are we at anyway? I haven't really looked at the power. Okay, air filter. 415 horsepower. 426 with a race air filter. Let's go race exhaust as well. We want the sounds. We want sounds. Okay, camshafts, we want this. A little bit more rev rev range. Two four eight eight on horsepower. <sighs> Should we go intercooler? Alright, let's go with the street intercooler. And orient calling. Right, let's go five oh three. I was gonna keep it at five hundred, but five hundred and three horsepower. Pretty nice. 
So that was race oil and cooling. So yeah, race flywheel, and then that is it with the car. That is it. <laughs> so I'm going to jump into a race now. I'm going to go into Silverstone, and I see you guys on there in a second. Okay, Silverstone, I meet you again. Wow, that V8 screens. Oh, wow, those wheels look very nice as well. You can see the dish. Cut dish! Oh, wow. I love it. Alright, let's see how this car goes with just a standard tune on it. Hopefully it goes okay, but obviously it won't, because it's me. Oh, it's going wide. It's going very wide. Let's try and bring it back in. Shit! Okay, we kept control of it. That's, that's good. We kept control of the car. There's nothing wrong with that. But I can feel that the tyres need to spin already. Need some more grip in the front. And some grip in the rear would not go amiss. Um, okay. Tyres in the front. Let's take it down to... Uh, let's go a little bit lower. Let's go 28 and 27.5. Gearing, you can stay the same. It felt alright. I want a lot of camber in the front. Let's go like 2.2, and let's go like 1.9 on the rear. A um, little bit more grip in the rear, we want that. Okay, 0.1, minus 0.1. Let's take the caster all the way to the top. Anti roll bar is what we're saying. Let's go a little bit softer in the front, but then bring the rear up. I like my cars quite stiff, so if you don't like your stiff, uh, just move it down a tiny bit, you'll be fine. Okay, so that's the springs more towards stiffness. Right height, you can go down. Down, down. Alright. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, rebound stiffness. I like it softer in the rear, so... <laughs> well, that sounded a bit wrong, didn't it? Um, let's make this about half of... Um, half the rebound. Okay, that's about fine. Okay, arrow is fine. Braking, I won't touch that. Differential. 100% and 100%. We want to lock the differential. Okay, there we go. Let's see how this feels now. It might not have worked out well. Could have been a lot better with the standard tune. You never know. That felt lost then. I had a lot of angle and I felt like I was going to spin. So the fact that it held it, I'm happy with that. I think the fact with this car, it's got a lot more power than my 350Z and I'm not used to it yet. Um, I've gone out wide on both of the corners then. I think that's just the fact that I'm not used to the power. Um, hopefully it is. Let's go, let's go again. I was struggling the whole time with my wheel then. Obviously I'm not the best with the wheels, so if I do make mistakes, it's not the car, it is me. That felt a lot better though. Uh, the first corner was terrible just because that was me, don't worry, it wasn't the car. Um, feels like there's a lot of grip in the front, I like that. The rear, could it maybe stabilise a little bit more? I can't tell yet. Uh, let's give it one more run and see what we think. That was a lot better, kept it in tight. Ah, struggling there. But it feels very nice. I think that was more my mistake than the car there. I just couldn't get the rear to pop out. Maybe if we just add a tiny bit more camber, make the tires a little bit more loose. Let's just do that. Tiny bit more camber on the rear, only like 0.1. I don't want to change it too much because it feels pretty nice. Uh, but if we put 0.2 camber on the rear. Sometimes more adjustments in this game, they go really far. Wow, that was a nice corner. Shitting hell. Uh, I think it's... 
No, it's me, it's me. It's, don't worry, it is me. I'm concentrating on pulling the handbrake, or pressing the button to do the handbrake, because I really need like a something to choose to do the handbrake here, but I don't have that. I have a button on the wheel, and to press the handbrake to get the rear out further, it's really hard to find the button when the wheel is like spinning and shit. So yeah, that was my mistake, it wasn't, wasn't the car. I think if I had a handbrake, this car would be absolutely perfection. In terms of stableness around the corner, it is perfect. So if I get in the transitions and I throw the, cor uh, throw the car into the transition, I should be fine without a handbrake. Obviously it's learning how to drive the cars as well, it's not just the tune. Obviously with my 350Z, a little bit more heavier, you don't really need to transition as hard. But maybe this is a little bit lighter and I'm feeling I'm going to have to throw the car into corners a little bit more. Just to get the rear out and then once it's out, this car feels absolutely fine. Yeah, that feels fine. There's, the grip feels the same as my 350Z. Uh, so yeah. I can't see why I need to change this anymore. I'll give it one more run just to see if I could feel anything different or feel anything that's not right, but this car is feeling pretty much fine. Yeah, that feels fine. Very nice car. St stability is there. I was going to say stabilizer or something. I was going to make up a word then. Uh, but yeah, the stability thing seems absolutely fine. These wheels, wow, do they suit this car. Fucking hell. Obviously on the wheel, I can't really change the view. So I can't... Oh, there we go. I had a good view of it then. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll show you the tune quickly. I'll just... Oh shit, that's the audio. We don't want to do that. I'll show you the tune quickly. We'll quickly speed through it. Uh, tires, gearing, alignment, anti-roll bars, springs, damping, aero, the brakes, and there's differential. So if you want to copy any of those down, uh, just quite literally pause the video and you can copy them down. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I need suggestions of cars to tune in the next episode. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.